this is um, impressive for a lot of people. This is a, a huge project. Uh, it's big, it's expensive, it's probably the biggest thing in Latin America right now. When we were first hired onto the project, the architect had a conceptual drawing and they were looking to uh, seat 12 to 14,000 and the uh, conceptual floor plan um, had a room that wouldn't work very well for sight lines, it would be challenging for acoustics, there were a number of problems with it. So our, our first involvement for probably the first six to seven months was working on the design of the interior of the room and getting that part right. And of course, with an eye to supporting the audio video lighting systems. We've had the pleasure of working with MGA for a lot of years now. Um, he's, he's done some, Mike and his, his colleagues have done some big, big venues, but this particular venue is a culmination of, I believe, seven years uh, MG have been working on this project. We came on board about two or three years ago looking at the, the system with them and uh, it's, been a, it's been a very interesting and I believe a very successful collaboration. The system that we have installed here is a uh, combination of the VQ um, 60s with downfills um, and mid-base devices along with a large number of subwoofers. Uh, there are three rows of uh, speakers, one main array, and then two delay zones. Um, there are a main LF array uh, that consists of uh, 18 double 18s and uh, nine of the double 15s, and then a supplemental subwoofer zone uh, that is five zones with three uh, double 18s in each zone uh, in a cardioid position. Besides the tunnel speakers in the main lot, in the main sanctuary, we have uh, 68 uh, pennants hanging throughout the, the lobby. We have uh, VLS um, series speakers in a cafeteria. Uh, we do have some lab grouping th uh, throughout the building. Uh, the lab grouping amplifiers are doing the uh, precedent speakers or front fills uh, along with monitor amplifiers. And then we have a few uh, in the back areas that are doing um, ceiling speakers and peripheral rooms. In this particular application in Casa de Dios in Guatemala, sight lines were everything uh, to, the, to the client, to the pastor. Uh, we've employed a, a point source VQ uh, distributed system. And obviously this type of venue requires uh, you know, rock and roll levels. Very amazing thing about the VQ product that we would not have anticipated. Uh, the pastor, of course, was very excited to hear this equipment as soon as it was operational. And uh, we, we got it operational when they had pretty much poured the concrete floor, um, but there was no acoustic treatment, no carpet, no seating, dust, all kinds of stuff in this room. Um, but even with the hostel, our, uh, acoustics of the room, the system sounded great. It just, it really surprised us. The support from Tanoi has been incredible. Um, Graham has come out to um, help us commission uh, each step of the uh, step of the way. He actually came out uh, when we were uh, first starting to test the, the the main array, and then um, helping us work with the the sub line, sub array to get the timings correct. I am very proud to be part of this. Uh, it, it's just, there's no words to describe what this is going to do to our economy, what this is going to do to our tourism, how this is going to help change lives and change families. There's going to be a lot of good heard and seen in this place.